Hello, hello. I'm Chris with the Legacy team, and today we're going to produce this candlestick holder. And now we're going to produce a few different video series off of this in preparation for some Christmas projects. Uh, this guy is obviously some contour turning designs. We'll have some others coming down the road. Um, but today we're going to show the demonstration of it being turned and show the advantage of how we program this using Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro software that literally makes it so anybody can turn any shape they want. We're gonna kick things off with the cutting demonstration. Now just like most blanks that we turn, most of the material needs to be roughed round and the surfacing cutter is the perfect cutter shape to do that. All the cutters shown here are from magnate.net and precisebits.com. Once turned round, the detail work can take place, and two cutters do that. We use the quarter inch down spiral to machine some flat surfaces, and an eighth inch tapered ball cutter to machine the contours. This contour process makes it possible to turn literally any turning shape using a ball cutter. So we're gonna show you how we generated that uh, contour design that we just barely demonstrated. Um, in other videos, we're going to be showing other variations of this existing design as well. Uh, you can see that the top profiles and bottom profiles of each design are identical across the board. So the only things that we're going to be switching out is the main body of the design. So we have flutes and spirals and, and even we'll even do a hollow spiral. Today we're going to be doing the contour process. So let's show you how we approach that using our Conversational Cam Pro software. Now Conversational Cam or Conversation Cam Pro is what we're using here to do this type of process, um, allows us to create a lot of different turning effects. Um, I'm not gonna go into every single detail because I want to keep this concise and just show you the, the general highlighted steps of how simple this is to make. So for example, if we go to our projects, I've already created uh, all of our candlesticks under our turning center here. So there's all of our different variations. I'm gonna to go to the contour candlestick and there's three tool paths already created to turn it around and to turn the two, um, you could say flat shoulders that were done with the quarter inch cutter. So we're going to add the uh, vector turning um, process. So if we go manage tool pass and go to import, and vector turning. Now this is one of the few processes, why it's called import, um, to where the G code is not originally created here in conversational cam. That's because if we go back to our original design real quick, right here. Um, anyway, so this contour effect, the ball cutter we saw had to travel across the top of the material as it continually rotated. So the um, position of the cutter was constantly changing um, in the Z and in the X axis. And so there was no definitive point that I could put in manually to say this is where the cut needs to take place. Um, so to make this process a really, really simple and fast, we figured out a way of how to generate a 2D toolpath um, using, for example, Vetric is what we're gonna um, demonstrate with, and then import that G code directly into Conversational Cam Pro. So when we import that G code, the software here is going to actually convert everything we need to create what you saw in the demonstration, okay? Anyway, so if we click on the, the vector turning and push OK, adds it to our list, and this is highlighted saying it's ready for data or information to be used. So we need, now need to go generate G-code here in our, in our Vetric software is what I'm going to use. And you can use any three axis uh, CAD CAM software. This is what we're using today. 
All right, so X, Y, zero has been placed here, um, but here we're going to be using the top edge of the profile to create a tool path. So we're gonna go to our profile tool path, and that's, that's where the ball cutter is gonna follow. However, we're going to select a cutter that just simply has the same diameter. So I have here an end mill that's an eighth of an inch in diameter to match the same diameter of the taper ball cutter we were using. Um, make sure those match. And I'm gonna put a cut depth here of just 0.1. It's irrelevant what that number is. I'm just putting an easy number to remember or use. If I look at the parameters of this cutter, it doesn't matter what they are. The only thing I need to make sure is that the cutter um, is able to handle the cut depth in one full pass with the pass depth. It does, and so we're good to go. We're going to make sure this is cutting on the left side of the line, and I'm gonna give this a name such as contour for import and calculate. And we can see that the profile follows that line, but it's doing so on, again, on the outside, okay, which is what we want. Because if we simulate that, it's going to show the actual true edge of where we want the ball cutter to follow, okay? So now we have G code that we can use. So let's go um, check this and import this G code. First, we gotta save it, save our G code. And this is done with a post processor that we've generated for um, our legacy customers called Legacy Turning Vector. And we can push save toolpath to, to generate this. And so contour for import, I'm gonna put this in a folder called for import G code under my candlesticks and save. Now if we go back to CCAM Pro and go back to this vector turning process, if I click on there, this is where we can import that G code that we just generated. And it's gonna convert it from a side cut to a top cut automatically for us. So if we click on this field, we can now go find the uh, import G code. There it is, contour for import. And we're gonna be definitely turning. Um, the diameter of this turning, uh, if we go back here to our, our drawing here, it got turned around to a, just over an inch, so 1.035. So if we go back here to our section diameter is being turned on a 1.035 section. And the cutter we want to use for this contour process is the eighth inch tapered ball cutter. So we'll come down here and select that eighth inch tapered ball cutter and select. This is the third cutter I'm using in this program. And the rest of these um, can stay defaulted. And I can push finish and save and it's going to tell me all the information of the uh, minimums, maximums for this program. So I can verify that with drawings. And we have now successfully finished programming that contour detail and uh, we've combined it with the other three turning processes that Conversational Cam has programmed. So with these four now um, highlighted, we can generate and it combines all of the G codes together into one. And this is what you saw being cut earlier in the cutting demonstration. This contour process can be used for any design that you dream up. It could be taken from an image uh, and you can trace that image. You could actually have an existing spindle and take a photograph it and then trace that image. Um, and you can replicate or design any shape of a profile you want with this technique. And it is just as easy as creating a 2D profile that we just did, importing it into CCAM Pro, combining those together and generating our G code. I hope you now have a better understanding on why all turning centers aren't created equal. By using Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro Turning software, it makes it so everybody can create custom designs in literally minutes. Now, if you're interested in getting more information on Legacy CNC systems, or perhaps joining some of our community events like live online trainings, you can always jump on our website at lwmcnc.com. If you're interested in talking to a CNC expert who can answer your questions, or if you're a legacy CNC customer and you want to get a licensed copy of Conversational Cam Pro, then call 801-491-0010. If you want to see more video demonstrations like these, click right over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check that notification box. So you can be notified when new videos like these come out. And as always, thanks for watching. But remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.